welcome back to my channel I'm back with another haul so I'm just gonna show you guys my recently bought makeup purchases and I'm gonna start off with my most exciting purchase which is the Chanel powder I've been wanting to get this for a while and just never got around to it um, my sister uses this so I figured I would be the same shade as her and um, I believe I am in the shade I'm in the shade 30 natural which is the same shade as my sister so that's how I knew which shade to get myself but yeah it's just a loose powder it comes in a little container like this and you can take the lid off and it does come with a little powder puff that says Chanel on it you could dab it into here and then apply it to your face but um, I think I'm just gonna be using my makeup brushes cuz um, I don't really use these it's pretty I'll probably just keep it but I'm not going to use it and yeah I've been waiting to use this until I film the video because I didn't want to use it before I filmed the video so now I can finally use this I'm so excited um, while I was at Chanel I also want to try their perfection Lumiere foundation but um, I didn't know what shade I was and I was already wearing makeup the day I went into the store so um, the woman working at the counter was so sweet that she gave me these samples to go home and try and I like how the samples are in little packages so they won't dry up like sometimes you get samples from Mac and they come in the little containers where you take the lid off and they dry up really fast and by the time you get around to using it there's like barely anything left so I got a sample in 20 beige and 30 beige I know I'm one of these and I gotta figure this out soon um, I've decided that this year I kind of want to try out like all the high-end foundations um, I've been using the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation which is my holy girl foundation I love it um, now I want to try the Chanel Perfection Lumiere and um, I also want to try the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Is that what it's called? Yes. Um, I want to try the Dior one. Those are just a few that I want to try. They're pretty pricey so I'm just going to slowly, slowly collect them as I go. Um, but yeah, that's my Chanel purchase, my main exciting purchase here. So for Christmas, Sarah got me this NARS uh, Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. And I remember talking to her on the phone a couple weeks before Christmas and telling her how much money I had already spent on Sephora, but this was one of the things I wanted. But I just didn't feel like paying for it myself. And I wasn't at all trying to hint to her that I want this as a Christmas gift. I was just trying to say like, you know, it's one of the things that you want, but you don't want to pay for it. So I guess Sarah took it as a hint as it's something I wanted for Christmas and ended up buying it for me and basically it's just a palette that comes with blushes and bronzing powders and you guys know how much I love NARS it's my favorite blushes and um, yeah there's already a blush in here that I already have which is deep throat but um, I could put deep throat in my kit now and then use this for myself and I love this I believe this was around $75 70 something not sure um, oh and the Chanel powder was around $50 I don't have the receipts so I can't really um, actually Maybe I do have the receipt. The Chanel powder was $56 uh, before tax, and then this one was $75, I'm pretty sure. And the only other makeup purchases I've made while I've been back from California are two brushes from MAC that look like this. Um, I got this one just to put powder under my eyes, and this one you can use as a concealer brush or to apply your eyeshadow base. Um, for those of you who are taking the Dress Your Face online classes will recognize these brushes and she is basically the reason why I bought these. So I've already used these and um, I'm going to be transferring these to my kit now, now that I know that they're awesome. But yeah, just adding to my MAC brush collection, so expensive. Um, okay, so the rest of the products are all products that I bought while I was in California. So let's start with the drugstore products first because that's where I went first. Um, so I went to CVS and I picked up this um, Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. And this mascara is actually really interesting because the mascara wand, it looks like it's made out of rubber and it's got like little spikes but like the spikes are kind of like all around it. It's really interesting. Um, it's called the Double Wing Brush. Um, supercharged found out lashes and I'll show you guys what the brush looks like close up I haven't tried it yet I'm really excited to try this and I got um, it in black I don't like waterproof mascara so therefore I didn't get the waterproof one but they do have a waterproof option if you guys are interested in that so that's the mascara I got 
and um, also picked up a Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss. That's also a stain. Um, haven't used this yet either. It twists up like a pen with a built-in brush. I'm actually gonna open this right now and try it out on my hand. I got 02 Cabaret Blend Vino. Um, let's try this out. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist this up. This reminds me of my um, the highlighter I used from MAC. Okay, anytime now. Oh, here it comes. Okay, oh my gosh, it won't stop. Oh. You guys, this is actually really pigmented. And it's not like a stain that's kind of like see-through that you have to put a bunch of layers on. It's like thick. I really like this. I think I'm gonna go back and get some other shades. I'm gonna wear this soon. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm impressed. I had to wipe that off my hand. It's like stained me now, but um, anyways, the last thing I picked up at CVS was a pair of lashes from the Kardashian Beauty line. Um, this is what they look like, and I will show them up closer up somewhere over here. And um, yeah, these are just really funky lashes, and I'm gonna try these out on a day where I'm wearing like a red lip and like barely any eyeliner. I just want the focus on my eyelashes. Um, Kardashian Beauty actually isn't a bad brand. Um, they have it at Ulta too, and I really like their um, lipstick lip liner combo. It's like a lip liner on one side and a lipstick on the other side, and um, and it comes with a lip gloss. And they come in like nude shades, kind of the shades that like Kim Kardashian's known for wearing. I think they have a red one too. The red one is the one I was looking for because apparently. Chloe wears that one. So they were all out of the lip products at that one CVS I went to. And, um, but I was like, let me try out their lashes. A lot of their lashes had like that thick band, like the plasticky looking band, which I know those lashes suck and they're like really hard to like put on. Um, but this one's band didn't look that thick. So I was like, let's try these ones out. So that's pretty much it for drugstore products. Um, also went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium, one of the places on my list of places to go. Um, yeah, I've been always wanting to go to Nigel's Beauty Emporium. Um, I remember they came here for IMATS. Well, they're always here for IMATS, but when I went two, three years ago, I bought a bunch of lashes and I believe it was like seven for seven dollars or seven for ten dollars. It was super cheap. I'm like, they're really good lashes. So I went to Nigel's and, um, of course I stocked up on lashes. So the lashes that they sell there are called the Mondo Studio Professional Lashes. And these lashes were super cheap. Let me just um, find the receipt. Okay, I don't know what I did with the receipt, but I believe they're a dollar fifty, a dollar something. They're so cheap. So I got a bunch of these. So I got some like natural looking ones, and I got some really full looking ones. These ones. I got six pairs from there. Um, these ones are really wispy and like strangly looking, and this one's crazy thick um probably gonna save this for halloween or something but i love these lashes i kind of wish i picked up more but i was like in a rush and my brother-in-law really did not appreciate being in a store full of makeup with two girls so i had to quickly rush and i just picked out six that i thought i would like um also from nigel's beauty emporium what when did this happen okay Back to my haul. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Nigel's Beauty Emporium is basically a store full of makeup and hair stuff and it's meant for like makeup artists because everything's at a discounted price. And if you are a makeup artist or a student, you get a discount and um, you get 40% off basically all the brands that are listed here. And that includes like Anastasia, um, what else is on here? Hourglass, Kevin Aquan, um, Makeup Forever, OPI, OCC Makeup, Too Faced, Stila, Sienna, and that's just to name a few. They have so many that are on this list, and you can go online and um, check it out on their website. Apparently, you can order online too, so if they ship to Canada and you're a makeup artist and you're from here and you want 40% off of these, check it out um, because I got this beauty blender for 13 something and you know beauty blenders here are like $25, 25 a little over 25 I don't know 
The last time I bought a beauty blender was a long time ago and you guys know how I rip the tops of my beauty blenders off when I'm washing them because I've got sharp nails. So um, since then I've been only using the Real Techniques beauty blender because it's like a fraction of the price. It's like $10. Cheaper in the States by the way. $10 in Canada though. Um, but yeah, so I got an actual original beauty blender and it was 13 something, 1390 something. I don't remember. Sorry, I threw my receipt out. But yeah, I was gonna grab a couple more, but then I was like, uh, I'm sure I'll be back in California soon. So I got a beauty blender from there. And um, I also picked up a Inglot eyeliner. And I've heard lots of good things about this Inglot gel eyeliner. It's just black. Um, apparently it's the blackest black of gel eyeliners and Dress Her Face uses it, she swears by it and this is what it looks like, it comes in a little pot. Apparently it dries up really fast so you have to make sure you put the lid back on right away and can't wait to use this on my clients. Uh, what else did I get from Nigel's? Oh I got a glitter from Makeup Forever and yeah so I got a glitter from Makeup Forever. This is what my glitter looks like. It's just a pink glitter. Um, I'll show you guys a close up of this too. It was really pretty and it's 40% off, so why not? And I'm really into glitter lately, so yeah, that's my Nigel's. Oh no, I also got a little like scooper thing to like pick up pigments, scoop off lipsticks, just more stuff for my makeup kit. And yeah, I really, I could have spent like another like hour in that store. But you know how it is when you go shopping with boys. And um, yeah, so check out Nigel's Beauty Emporium if you're ever in California. It's amazing. If you're a makeup artist, you will like literally die because you're gonna be like, oh my god, I have 40% off on all these brands. Um, yes, and the last thing I have to show you guys are just more lashes. Um, I got these. Whoa. These are all the same lash. They're basically the 523s and um, I use red cherry lashes which I get from Gem Beauty Supply in Surrey and Gem Beauty Supply numbers are the same as this brand lashes numbers. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. So I got these lashes from uh, Santi Alley and if you guys haven't been to Santi Alley it's basically um, a wholesale market where they have separate sections for different things like they have a fashion district, they have a jewelry district, they've got um, a toy district so basically it's like streets and streets of like market and I kind of showed it in my vlog a little bit but not too much because we went there on the way back to the airport like on our last day in California and um, and again my brother-in-law hated shopping for makeup so he's kind of like hurry up guys so um, just picked up a bunch of lashes basically stocking up for my kit and these are literally the same thing as our cherry lashes but they're packaged differently and they're a fraction of the price. Super cheap, I believe each one was like a dollar. Um, and it was like this huge like warehouse store that was full of lashes, um, hair donuts. Oh, I got hair donuts too. I got like a big like package of hair donuts, which is gonna be great for bridal updos, but I don't have it here with me if I already packed it away. Um, yeah, anything you could possibly need for a makeup kit was there. Like, and I was also trying to look for like rhinestones, like real Swarovski rhinestones for my nails because they're so expensive here and everything there's dirt cheap because they're basically selling it to you for like wholesale price. But I didn't have time to go find like the little nail district. So yeah, just stocked up on lashes and hair donuts there. Um, I think that's all for this haul. I'm trying not to buy new makeup right now. I'm only buying things for my makeup kit or things I run out of. Um, like today I went and picked up like a MAC Fix Plus and another NARS, um, the primer that I use from NARS, not NARS, Smashbox, the Smashbox primer. And other than that, I haven't bought anything for myself. My next purchase for myself is probably going to be the Chanel um, foundation. And yeah, so I'm gonna play with these goodies. I'm actually really excited to try this on. That's all for my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any of the stuff I mentioned in this vlog, vlog, this is not a vlog, this is a haul. I wanna know what you guys' thoughts are, especially on this mascara and the Milani Lip Power. If you've tried it, let me know, comment below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.